Hi my naughty possums, I hope you guys are all having an amazing day or week or month. Because it's back to school season, I figured it's the perfect time to talk about my sneakers collection. So yeah, let's do it. Starting off with my most recent purchase, these ones are the Air Jordan 1 Mids in crimson tint. This specific colorway was released just this year in June. So I was like so surprised when I saw it in my local Foot Locker and they had dropped this shoe on that very same day. And when I saw it, I immediately took like a bunch of Insta stories with it asking you guys whether or not I should get it. The only downside is that they only had one in stock in that store and it was a men's 8.5, which is like a women's like 11 or something, which is too too big for me. So I didn't end up getting it at the store, but to my knowledge, it like sold out like 10 minutes after I left. You guys can always get them online on either GOAT or StockX, but just be prepared to pay like double or like almost triple the retail price. And the one I got was actually a US 6 Youth, but somehow this just fits like a women's 7.5 anyway. And if something you like is out of stock in your size, make sure to check the men's sizing and also the kid sizing too, because a lot of times they'll carry like the same model of shoes but for a lot cheaper in like the kids version. So like I think this one was like $200 that I got from Go. But if you were to check like the women's section, like this would cost like $500 or something for a women's 7.5. Next up we have a New Balance pair of shoes. These ones are the Made in USA 990 V5 sneakers. So these sneakers go way back and then in 2020 they came out with this V5 version and then it like all of a sudden blew up. So everyone was wearing it like celebrities, like all all the insta cool girls had it so i don't know why i didn't get it last year and i only jumped onto the trend this year but you know what it is so freaking comfortable it just feels like as soon as you get your hand on it you can like literally run like a marathon in it it is that comfortable i got this in a size seven and a half us and it fits me like a dream so get your usual size let me know which one you guys prefer like this one is kind of like a muted blue kind of grayish color and this one is just like a white color i personally feel like this one is a lot lighter than this one and a lot easier to pair with especially in the summer moving into the fall and winter time maybe this one will be more appropriate for like a darker outfit. So these ones are the New Balance 530 in navy blue and silver and I got them on Sense but I'm checking right now and it says sold out. It has been out for a couple years I believe and all the rage when they first came out to the point where like all the celebrities like all the like chic and happening influencers had them and they were sold out and then miraculously they were brought back for like a short period of time sometime last year and I snatched them up. I'm gonna be linking them down below in case it comes back in stock again. These ones are a low top mesh type of sneakers. I haven't been wearing them a whole lot just because I got them in the winter time, but they are so soft and so so comfortable. Oh, in case you're sold out, you can also check like Depop or Poshmark or even eBay. I think some of like the secondhand consignment stores might have these. I just think these go so, so well with all of your casual outfits. And there's such a wide range of looks that you can wear with these sneakers, you know, ranging from like super, super duper like PJ type casual to like blazers. This is a pair of Converse that I managed to get at my local mall and immediately like snagged them, took a picture of them and posted it on my IG stories. Asking you guys if I should get this over like 80% of you said hella yes And I got so many DMs asking for the link and unfortunately I don't have a link for this shoe because I didn't get it online But I have the model number right here and it's 568660C This part has like a cream faux leather exterior with the Converse logo here And the lace hardware is around here being like a gold color and I just think it's so so pretty. It's so different from all the other converses that I've seen. The only caveat to this is that I got this in the size US 6.5, which is a whole size smaller than what I usually would get. And I'm able to like squeeze my feet in, you know, even with socks, like no problem. But I just can't go, you know, like hiking in these or like running after my kid in these. Leave me a comment down below if you guys know the struggle of getting something that's like not in your size, but you still really, really want it because it's like hella cute, but it doesn't fit you. And you'll definitely be seeing so so much of this in my fall outfits this year cannot style these okay guys next up i have these a nike air force 
sneakers. So these ones, I'm talking about them together because they're essentially the same pair of sneakers. These ones are just the Air Forces and these ones are the Air Force Shadows. But this one has just been customized with the Gucci logo on the side and this one has also been a little bit customized by me because I put golden like clips on the top here instead of the regular silver that you would get. I think basically like everyone has heard of these or has them in their closet because they're just so versatile. They're super comfy. The one I got is the shadow version and there's just a little bit of difference on the bottom here compared to the regular AFs, but not too much. In terms of comfort, they feel pretty similar. The shadows are more of like an all white type of sneaker. So I tend to pair these when I have like a lot of like patterns or a lot of colors going on in my outfit just to like tone down the overall coloredness of my outfit. And then with the Gucci's, I tend to pair it if I have like a solid or like a more monochrome color tone going on in my top. So I got these customized by a company called 112s. And this is not an ad by the way, like I fully paid for these shoes and I think they were about 400 or 500 by the time they got to me and it took like a long time. I think it took maybe like three months or so to get to me just because every single pair of shoe is hand customized with the authentic Gucci imprint here. They don't just have Gucci, you guys. They have so many different type of like luxury brands that you can customize and choose to embellish your shoes with. And they don't only have like AFs, they have like other types of runners too. But yeah, these are not cheap, but they're different. And I always get tons of questions whether I wear them out in real life or whether I wear them out on my YouTube or on my Instagram. You guys always are asking me where I get them from, so I'm I'm guessing they're kind of popular. <laughs> Another pair of Converse. So these pair of Converse are the Madison Converse in a mid top that I also recently got. Um, I've been wanting to get a pair of black Converse high tops for a while now, but something about the high top just doesn't like sit right with my ankles. I don't know why. Like I think like they're just like an awkward, awkward length. They also rub against my ankles and like give me blisters. So when I saw that Converse had mid tops, I grabbed this one instead and I'm so glad I did. This one actually has like a padded ankle brace if you will and this like so so comfortable it's so much more comfortable than the traditional high tops that you would get that's just like a flap got this in my actual size this time a us 7.5 women's and in my opinion i think that the mid tops tend to make your ratios especially like your leg ratios look so much better than high tops and it's also so much easier to pair this with like jeans or like any other pants let me know in the comments down below if you guys prefer the converse low mid or high tops okay next up we have my everyday <laughs> runners or sneakers like i'm sorry if this is like way too dirty you guys can't see but in real life this is like so beat up there's like a tiny hole forming at the front here this is also a low top mesh kind of shoe but i got these about three or four years ago in paris but these are basically just my everyday pair of shoes that i would slip in to go basically run my whole life in grocery shopping going out just taking a walk oh going on vacation especially i love wearing these to the airplane and the airport because they're just so extremely comfortable it literally just feels like a bathrobe for your feet and when you're walking it's so soft it's like walking on a cloud and the best part is i have this like tied forever <laughs> in this configuration because i just never untie i just always just like slip my feet in them and then i'm like good to go oh my god on the inside it says that this is a size six and a half us and I'm usually a seven and a half to an eight US, but I can't believe I got this in a six and a half and it fits me like a dream. So I guess sizings with Adidas is just really weird. Who remembers the dad shoe trend? So these Balenciaga <laughs> runners, they were all over the internet. You guys have, have to have to heard of these guys. Whether you hate it or you love it, they're there. Like they're so in your face. Everyone was either wearing them or talking shit about them because they're so damn ugly. And I think this was really the beginning of the dad shoes trend that came back about two, three years ago. Leave me a comment down below in the comment section whether you guys love dad shoes 
or hate dad shoes. I know that the split can be kind of extreme. So you either love them to death or you like hate them to death. I kind of like fall in the middle. So I would wear them because I think they're super trendy and surprisingly comfortable. They're just hella heavy. They're so much, so much heavier than all my previous shoes that we've talked about. So this one and this one, it doesn't even feel like shoes. You know, it just feels like a pair of bricks that you're wearing on your feet. I got these in a size 39 and I wore it to Disney with Buddy again. And yeah, my feet did not hurt the entire time. Props to these guys for making it actually wearable and comfortable despite, you know, how it might look like on the outside. While we're on the dad shoes trend, I got another pair of dad shoes for you guys. These ones are the Fila dad shoes. <laughs> Okay, note to South Karina, next time before you like hold out a pair of sneakers, learn about the name of the sneaker first before like introducing it to your audience. Let me just Google it real quick. Disruptors. I knew that this was called the Fila Disruptors. I'm just gonna blink on my pregnancy brain. Pregnancy brain. These ones are the Fila Disruptors 2 and they come in two different styles. So you can either have the brand Fila here be like a blue color and also the logo here be like a blue and a red color or you can have it all white like the one I have. And I think I actually like them better than the ones with the blue logo on here because it creates more mystery around what type of shoe you're wearing because people can't see the brand like just like that. This one I'm wearing a size eight and a half US. What's with these like sneaker brands and their like sizing inconsistencies? I don't know because these ones fit me pretty well. And the Adidas one from before was like six and a half. So that's a whole two size difference, you guys. This one has a very, very high platform. I think the platform is like up to here, maybe like two or two and a half inches. At the time of purchase, they were a much talked about dupe for the triple S because the triple S is like hundred dollars and these ones were only like 70 60 dollars okay as you guys are gonna think i'm so basic but i feel like everyone and their cat has one of these shoes in different colors i just went for white because white was something that is like you know like the most basic of sneaker colors these ones i got quite a while ago i don't know how it is so Clean. I mean, I've worn them in so many, so many IG pictures and surprisingly, <laughs> some people are still asking me what sneakers they are and I'm like, they're Converse. <laughs> what I really like about these is that they're unisex. So this one I think is like a men's five um, and a women's seven. <gasps> oh, these ones are also the ones where I did pregnancy reveal for Lucas in this photo right here. So I bought the toddler version of this shoe because I just liked it so much. And I love how there's like a toddler version. Okay, you guys are not ready for the sheer volume of Adidas superstars that I own. It is very disturbing <laughs> even to me at this stage because I hardly even reach for them. I don't even remember they exist in my life or in my basement closet and yet here they are. I think it was 2015, 2016 where the Adidas Superstar like blew up in all kinds of proportions imaginable and I jumped on that trend a little too crazily because I've got four pairs of Adidas Superstars in different colors. Like honestly, like in 2015 and 2016, that was part of the starter pack of like insta girls like you guys would have like adidas sweatshirts adidas t-shirts paired with adidas superstars and you know closer we ain't ever getting closer no we ain't ever getting older that song bomber jackets what else <gasps> brandy melville i remember i was just in brandy and superstars all day long this doesn't make me sound like i'm like so freaking old basically back to the shoes these ones are the original adidas superstars with the black stripes on the side. I think these pair were the ones that were worn the most. And then we start going to like collector's items. I think once the superstars blew up, Adidas started carrying like customizable options on their site to have the stripes in different colors if you would like. So I colored mine like a peachy kind of like light pink color. I love how everything is in gold. I also have a gold version. So instead of the stripes being pink, this time it's in gold and it's kind of just like metallic gold detail with the back being gold as well. And this part being gold. And last but not least, we have a pair of superstars that is <gasps> iridescent. 
like a unicorn type of like silvery shimmer oh my god it's like bringing those times back for me and I'm, I'm like legit getting excited um, this is so so trendy back then it has an all silver canvas with like these white stripes it's actually like a rainbow type of iridescent glittery shimmer and because a lot of these are like so hard to come by they were like collector's edition um, I didn't really wear them out too much so like the soles are completely clean to the point where I think I would only wear them for pictures indoors um, with the exception of this one so this one I actually wore outside and I'm not sure what to do with these let me know if you think they're gonna make a comeback later on or if I should sell them on my blog or on Poshmark oh I want to show you one more sneaker that I have um, that is also part of the 2016 Instagirl starter pack and that was the Stan Smith so these Stan Smiths are pretty much limited edition these ones I got in Paris when it first came out it was the peach version and I think when they first released it it was only the green version that was released and it was super super hard to even find any other retailer that carried this in this peachy color so I got a lot of questions on my IG asking me where I got these and I wore them to death it may not seem like it but it's actually like super dirty and like scrummy looking in real life comfort level though I would say the superstars are more comfortable than these these has a really really hard shell at the front here and I think it's also because I got it in like a size too small I got these in a size 7 should have went for like a 7 and a half next we have a pair of Chanel sneakers that I got also a few years ago on Vestiaire Collective they are kind of like a second hand consignment store where people People would sell the stuff that they don't want anymore and then that store would sell it to other customers like myself I believe I got it slightly under a thousand dollars back then it's still holding up pretty well so the one I got has like a blue interior and the outside is this again like silvery kind of canvas with a big Chanel logo on the side here um, when I first got it I wasn't sure if it's going to be comfy at all to walk in but it's surprisingly is to the point where I actually wore them on the airplane to the airport and it didn't hurt my feet so imagine having a pair of luxury shoes that look good and is super comfy and then we have these like super old school Vans all white canvas shoes that is in the high top so this one I got in LA in 2016 I believe they're like the high top versions of the Converse for me like sometimes if I'm sick of wearing Converse and I want to change I like go for these but I think the popularity of Vans is pretty short-lived I don't know whether they're still in style anymore but like honestly you guys I don't even care if they're in style because they're so so comfy to be in even though they're high top they don't like hurt my ankle in any way or like scruff up against any part of my skin as I'm walking and it also makes me feel super young you know whenever I'm walking in these I feel like I belong to all of you like high school and college people so it like brings back those like good old days for me you know for those of you who watch my Shein hauls on the regular you guys will be familiar with this pair of shoes this is just a pair of generic tennis shoes that I got from Shein I just really really like the retro pattern here and the color palette just downright reminds me of the New Balance 9 h v1 shoe obviously it's not gonna be as comfortable as the actual new balance shoes but it's still relatively light and easy to walk in so i got this in a size 39 and it was a little bit on the tighter side i feel so if you're looking to get these shoes make sure you size up maybe like half a size or if you're gonna pair them with chunky socks get like a full size larger i think they're perfect for back to school they don't break the bank and they surprisingly go with a lot of basic outfits and then the pair of Shein sneakers, these ones are actually a great dupe for the Alexander McQueen sneakers Almost like 90% similar looking I got this in a size 38 and somehow it's like the same measurement as this one which is a 39 So you really need to like check the measurement in each item on Shein before you make a purchase Because like sometimes like a shoe can be like a 40 but have the same measurements as like 37 for example So the T on these, I've been seeing these forever on Shein and they got like amazing reviews everyone was saying like they're so comfortable and they look exactly like the Alexander McQueen ones and then I get my hands on one of them and then they immediately like 
sold out. Maybe it's because they look too too similar to the actual item that the brand is like suing Shein or something for carrying something like this. Just a guess, I don't know. If you're interested in this, make sure, make sure to check the description box down below. I will only link this exact sneaker because if you go on Shein right now, I think there's like so many other dupes for this type of sneakers, but they all have text at the back here and it looks really, really tacky. And now we have these Vessi shoes. So these are like legit waterproof, 100% waterproof canvas shoes that I've talked about in this video right here. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I actually dunked one of these full on in water and you guys can see the results of that. It did not get wet at all whatsoever. These I feel are really practical everyday type of shoes where you don't really care about the brand. All you want is something that you can step into like huddle with your kid, for example, or like if it's like a really wet and muggy morning and you wanna go for a walk and the grass is all wet, then this will be like a great, great, pair of shoes to slip into. They're also super, super comfy to wear. Last up, we have these super comfy pair of All Birds wool runners. So they're a little bit different um, than all the other runners that you might have seen in your life because they are kind of like a fuzzy <laughs> material. They kind of feel like felt paper. Do arts and crafts in when you're like a toddler. It says it's made in Korea with super fine New Zealand merino wool. Super simple, super sleek type of white runners that you don't have to like think much before slipping your feet into it. These are so, so oh, comfortable. They legit feel like you're slipping your feet into like a pair of Uggs but sneaker version. It's so fluffy, it's so like cloudy, and you just feel the softness of the wool like surrounding your feet. But I highly, highly suggest these. I think they're also made out of recyclable materials. Even the box that came with it, I remember it was like a completely like 100% recyclable material. So yeah, if you wanna be like eco-conscious and like sustainable, these ones are the ones to go. Okay guys, thank you for watching my sneakers collection video. I don't know if this is like a giant, collection video maybe to some people but for me it's like a pair of sneakers kind of has that like a memory value you know like whenever you put it on or whenever you see it it kind of like brings you back to that moment in time where all you wore were those sneakers like those like adidas superstars for me let me know if you feel the same way and also let me know what is your favorite pair of sneakers and also what sneakers are trending because i might need to get my hand on some for the fall okay i love you all and i'll see you in my next video bye